Got our first one in of the day. Uh, worked some different situations, ended up with some goal line. Uh, solid day. I don't think it was anything great. I don't think it was anything bad, but uh, need to get better again, like I say, in a lot of areas, and hopefully we'll continue to do that. So we got some guys back from practice, so looks like getting some bodies back. What are your goals just for the, the last week of practice, or last week camp, I meant to say? Well, I really got two weeks of camp. Still got two weeks of camp left, really, but this is a week before school. But to establish the toughness of this team, the identity of this team, the work ethic of this team, and to make sure guys understand what it takes to be a championship caliber player and that understand it, how they do it day in, day out, on a consistent basis. So you've had a chance to look at footage from the scrimmage. What's, what was your thoughts on some of the things you liked, things you didn't like? About what I thought right then. There were some good things. I mean, there, it, there's nothing in particular I loved, nothing in particular I hated. I mean, except a little bit of inconsistency. And I thought both sides had its choice. I don't think either side won the scrimmage. I think defense made some plays, and I think offense got them on some things. Uh, again, I think we just got to get tougher and better pad level. The thing I see us play with in that scrimmage, it disappointed me on both sides of the ball. I didn't think our pad level was very good. And I think that's football is a game that you got to play low to high. It's a low to high game that you have to play with great leverage. Anyway, you can have power. Jalen was out here, I presume, before today, but today it's first. I'm sorry? Jalen Wilkerson joining yeah, he got in. Yeah, he got into practice. He and uh, uh, the other guys got in there. It was good. He's got pop. So I'm come off the boards. Got good juice in his legs, you see. it. Now I just got to learn what we're doing. Glad we got him. Uh, a full oh yeah, he had full pads, yes. Uh, what have you seen from him? So he was on the other field. Some I saw him on boards. He got juice. He can run. Uh, we'll look at the film when I, when I get back inside. He play, I mean, he's played a lot of outside in high school. Like, yep. Russian pastures, so is that where you see him here? No, nah, he'll be in. He's going to start inside right now. And he can do it. He can do it. Tim, what benefit does it have to have a couple of veterans on the interior of the defensive line to have Niall Lawrence and Derek Mitchell? Guys well, it, it's, it's, it's beneficial if they if – they, play like they're capable of playing, which they're doing a solid job. I mean, you know, you say that uh, it's just guys that know what to do, but they got to go do it. You know what I'm saying? It just gives you that toughness. And you got to you got to be able to stop the run. Those inter interior guys got to be able to, to be physical guys. You have a bunch of second year guys on the D-line too. Does having those guys up front kind of just help bring them along a little bit more? You got to. I mean, you got you can't have enough guys up front. And then, but, you know, again, I can say there's not an age limit on playing well. You know what I'm saying? So hopefully those young guys will grab a hold of it. How guys like Marquez uh, and um, Ryan Green look for the other Who? Marquez, Ryan Green and Marquez West. Marquez has done a really good job. Ryan's been solid, been okay. Uh, Marquez has played pretty solid. We're getting him to play a little more aggressive, which I thought he did today, but he's playing good football. Nice to get McFadden back in the mix. Yeah, he is. Well, he didn't do a lot of teams as much. We would limit him. This afternoon, I think we'll let him go full after a, they, we did a half evaluation. They didn't want to get see how it feels, and then we should be ready to go this afternoon. Is it amazing to see what Josh continues to do coming off of that? Major? It does. It does. And uh, his power and just the ability to come back to the level he's come back as quick as he has, it, it's, it's really good. And, and you know, there's no, he has no effects on it. There's no swelling. There's no anything. Did you watch Jameis on Saturday night? Did you get to see him? Yes. I, I mean, had a couple good plays back. But the thing I liked, I thought he, he felt in control of the game. You know what I'm saying? Never looked out of place. Made some really nice throws in there. Uh, uh, scrambled, moved well. And I, I thought, from my point, had good presence about his offense. You know what I'm saying? That's just from a bystander, just standing back, but just didn't look lost at all, in my opinion. What's it like watching him? You now, you're not coaching him. What's that like <laughs> watching him on TV? It's almost like I want to I want to call him and give him the remind, you know, all the little reminder, but you know, they have their own thing. You know, that's 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 like your parents when your kids run away. You know what I mean? And go to college. You want to call them every day and give them that three things before they ever walk out the door. You know, your mom and dad always told you. But uh, you know, it's he he's a grown man and he, and he he learns well and he knows well. He'll we're just proud of him, proud and happy for him. Had a chance to talk to him a couple times? Yes, oh yeah, I talked to him the day of the, day of the scrimmage. I mean, the, that, that day, uh, the, I texted him a couple times, he texted back, and he worried about us. I said, you need to worry about you. <laughs> no, but he just, just communicate with him and just wish him good luck and tell him I loved him and he's doing a good job. So he shows a lot of interest in the program still. Oh, shoot, there. hey guys, when he gets a chance, I mean, he's very busy, but he'll, yeah, yeah that, he's, he's an extremely extreme, once you really get to know him, extremely, extremely appreciative and, and a kind-hearted, great young man. Is it fun watching all those guys? Oh, all of those guys. I say not just him, but it's all of them. I mean, just, again, I remember all all this. I remember that. I remember all those linemen going through that. I remember the skill guys. I remember the big guys. When we were mad, I'm going there saying, I don't know if this guy's ever going to be a player. I don't think he gets it. You know what I'm saying? And then all of a sudden, the next day, they do. And just the trials and tribulate. That's the thing you remember, the memories and the, the recruiting things. But what happens out here on this practice field to get them to where they're going? Are you seeing, seeing things get more natural for Everett, or is it still kind of feeling his way through? His well, I, I, he's been better. He's been, I mean, he's doing a lot better. And I think as the guys around him, that youth, it gets more consistent. It's really, you can start to see him click. But I thought Sean, both of them, both of them done a nice job. Is 
Mario's toe some issue? Or? Yeah, uh, no, he got a got a helmet on it when we was in chills one day. A guy need him right there. We're gonna just another day or so, and he'll be good. But he was uh, he's in great shape. He was running as well as he'd been running. Had great great practices. Kimbo, how's Kermit done consistently? Much better, much 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 better. I've been very pleasantly surprised. He's playing with his speed. The whole camp, he's been like yes, that the whole camp, the whole camp. When, when, when he's right, what does that do for your kickoff oh, return game? And not to kickoff. How about offense? offense? Everything. Everybody keeps you got to keep looking at it. He's not a returner. He's a he's a receiver now, and that's changing. I mean, you slip up, it's six points. And whether he's got the ball in his hand or he runs by you on the post route, this guy runs. People don't realize he is a really good route run. He has the ability to be a really good route run. He's starting to do that right now. Did the light just turn on at some point? Yeah, it's a junior. I mean, just yeah. urgency. I'm a freshman. When you're young, oh, I got it. Oh, I got it. I got another year. Oh, is it really? And all of a sudden, you realize it start as you listen to all them opportunities and watch all those opportunities pass you by, and you realize you know something. I got two more years of this. It just clicks in. Maturity. That word that we will not wait on in society today. <laughs> I know we talk a lot about Jalen and his leadership on defense. Is Terrence Smith a guy who has he stepped into? He's doing a solid now? job. He's doing a solid job. I would say, I would say, uh, Jalen the most. What is a, What do you like, Jalen, on kickoff? Again? Oh shoot! He hit it. He's physical. He's a straight line guy. He's very. He got great moves with the ball. He can be a good blocker if it doesn't come to him. Good ball skills. Big body. He ran 10, 600 meters now. Well, you guys talked about changing some personnel. With some we did up front. We we did last year. We had some issues up front personnel. Really up front. Up front. Didn't have some body types. that was right. This group has a lot better deal. A lot better. Excuse me. Not a lot better group of guys physically and athletically to do the things we're asking them to do. People will look at a kick returner as being the guy who breaks it, but it's really the... No, players. it's the front guys. Yeah. I mean, you, you put that ball in somebody's hand, there ain't no blocks. Unless he got wings, he ain't flying over. There's more athletic guys up there now? Oh, yeah, and bigger bodies. A bit more athletic and bigger body type guys. Because, I mean, you get some, you got to be able to hold up. That's a that's a, that's a hard block. And, and you're taking on a guy running full speed, and you got to displace him and move him out. You know what I mean? But then have the athleticism to get on him. So it's a tough combination of people. Does Jalen ever bother you about wanting to play offense? Nah, okay. he, he got him into returns. He's good okay, about that. Good <laughs> with a, a new quarterback and you're putting in some new uh, running backs, so how important is just having the consistency from your offensive line this season? It's going to be con the offensive line is where it's going to start. I don't care what you say. I mean that that's got to be there to to let any skill guy function. And uh, you know we got a ways to go, but we're getting there.